All right, here we are back with Basement Tapes. John Keating, that 70s card show. You know all that nonsense. But what you don't know is this is episode 145. Actually, you probably do know that. But what you really, really don't know, really, really don't know, is we're going to talk about the 1965 Philadelphia football set, Philadelphia Gum Company. I've got 36 of these bad boys. And uh, again, another classy set from Philadelphia. Of course, what else would you expect from the finest finest city on earth uh let's see what uh where am i here first of all let's see what beckett has to say about this 198 cards seven dollars 96 average value total value one thousand five hundred seventy seven dollars complete set of 198 between 500 and 800 buckaroonies 1965 philadelphia gum set of nfl players consists of 198 standard size cards the cards were issued in five card nickel packs and cello packs. The card fronts have the player's name, the team name, the position in a black box beneath the photo. The NFL logo is at bottom right. The card backs feature statistics and a question and answer section that requires a coin to rub and reveal the answer. The card backs are printed in maroon on and on gray card stock. Each team has a team picture card as well as a card featuring a diagram of one of the team's plays. This play card shows a small coach's picture in black and white on the front of the card. The card's backs are printed in maroon on a gray card stock. I think we've been over that. The cards are numbered within team with the players arranged alphabetically by last name. The key rookie cards in the set are Carl, uh, Carl Eller, Paul Kraus, Mel Renfro, Charlie Taylor, and Paul Warfield. Comic transfers sheets were included as inserts into the pack so again 66 times 3 is 198 uh so we're talking about 66 card sheets here fill a gum company uh, top three in perceived <clears throat> value according to beckett opg uh jim brown of course followed by paul warfield's rookie card beautiful card by the way and then we have uh, a tie, a four-way tie for, for third place with Mel Renfro, Bart Starr, Charlie Taylor, and the 1965 card 198 checklist to uncorrected error, according to them. Let's go to TCDB. Beautiful cards again, like we said. The NFL Shield makes its appearance here, and uh, I would say, say what you want about Jerry West, say what you want about Harmon Killebrew. Uh, the NFL Shield is one of those uh, logos that certainly does uh, get me going. I think that that is um, a beautiful logo, a beautiful shield. It looked great. Painted on the 50-yard uh, line during the Super Bowls back in the day. Maybe they still do that. Uh, my team only goes to the Super Bowl every so often. So here we are, teams represented here. Again, this is the NFL. Uh, the Colts, the Bears, the Browns, the Cowboys, the Lions, the Packers, the Rams, the Vikings, the Giants, the Eagles, the Steelers, 49ers, Cardinals, and Redskins. Segregation, meaning NFL over to Philadelphia and AFL over to Tops. Uh, that is how it was going back then. Hall of Famers, there are 42 recorded Hall of Famers, including some coaches' cards with Shula, Hallis, Landry, Lombardi, Van Brocklin, and uh, 49ers play of the year, Jack Christensen head coach card. Was not aware that Jack Christensen was in the football Hall of Fame, but he certainly is, according to these folks. Uh, rookies here, 49 of them. Again, lots of them. And um, we'll move on from there. Comments, uh, very underrated set, says Vintage Vault 13. Actually has more Hall of Famers than more popular 1965 tops. The photography is great in this set. <clears throat> Again, the Paul Warfield is to die for. I think that that's a beautiful card. Uh, packaging here, we see uh, National Football League. We see a Browns player and a Colts player uh, about to go mano e mano on the front. It says official pro National League football. Five cent bubble gum with magic rub and picture. NFL shield is prominently displayed on the wax box. The wax packs. Uh, also have the shield says comic tattoos again nickel packs bubble gum involved there's all sorts of uh, crazy stuff uh, magic rub and pictures uh, there is a rack pack here and uh, a rack pack produced by swell uh, from havertown pa 
Uh, I was not aware that these existed, but it says 36 trading cards for 29 cents. I wonder if these are just, like I said, umbrella corporations. Tops uh, would not put their name on their rack packs, and perhaps Fleer was using Swell uh, in the proxy bubblegum card wars. Uh, let's look at uh, Rapper. You can get NFL school book covers uh, as a giveaway here uh, with magic rub a picture and extra comic tattoos. You could get an official National Football League covers for your school books, one for each team with a team insignia, plus one with all 14 helmets and insignias on it. They're big, 10 inches by 13 inches, colorful, full plastic coated to last and last. They're 10 cents each. At your favorite store. If you can't buy them, send one dollar fifty cent for all fifteen covers to NFL Covers, Box Two Hundred Five, Rosslyn, New York. Print your name and address clearly. So, uh, <clears throat> interesting little giveaway there. Because keep in mind that unlike baseball, football is getting these cards out to market right before your school season. So, therefore. Uh, this is a nice little uh, send away baseball could not offer because you would be halfway through at least halfway through your school year and you would already have your book book cover. So Philadelphia Chewing Gum Corporation. Shoot. I just realized that in the last thing, uh, the rack packs, I called them FLIR. Obviously, Philadelphia Gum is a different corporation than FLIR Corporation. Apologies because they are in Havertown, PA, under license with Sports Picture Cards, Enterprises, Inc., New York, New York. One slab bubblegum plus picture cards, uh, P C G C L S P C E made in printed in USA. So sorry about that. Everybody forgot Philadelphia gum separate entity. Uh, I got lost in the wonderful cards here. So I will do several pushups and perhaps think about running a lap or two. Let's look at the gallery again. Beautiful cards. The team card for the Baltimore Colts leads us off card. Number one and uh, unique backs. Like they said, maroon printed onto gray stock. Could be difficult to read for somebody, uh, perhaps myself, but uh, Ray Barry, uh, not card number one this year because of the Colts uh, team card. I approve of that. And then I guess the last Colts team or the last Colts uh, card would probably be the uh, Don Shula. And there it is. Colts play of the year. Baltimore Colts versus St. Louis Cardinals, October 12th, 1964. Let's look at the back. Baltimore Colts versus St. Louis Cardinals, October 12th, 1964. Lenny Moore gained many a yard. On this play, Tony Lorick and John Mackey made key blocks. Jim Parker is cleanup blocker who takes out the first man he comes to when coming through the hole. That's what she said. Uh, Unitas Moore or Lorick, Szymanski, Prius, Sandusky, Vogel, Parker, Barry, and Mackey are on the field for this epic classic uh, play. The Chicago Bears coming in hard on number 15. Nice uh, team photo there. And it goes on and on. Again, beautifully photographed cards. Uh, Ditka, again, it looks like Mike Ditka. Does, never disappoints us. Uh, but anyway, uh, a great sign of the times and a capturing the uh, football players of yesteryear. Uh, beautiful set. I'm going to have to go after some of these because I just find these uh, absolutely beautiful cards uh, to witness, uh, even though I'm looking at them on a computer monitor. So I'll go for more of these. Maybe you folks can join me in the line, get some of these cards, <clears throat> put them in a paper bag, take them home, log them into your computer. However, you keep track of your collection. Perhaps you put them in a binder or a box, but they will be cherished and uh, forever. So Jim Ringo there with the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, beautiful, beautiful cards. You will learn some football plays. You'll learn about football players like Norm Sneed, the Philadelphia Eagles quarterback who went to Wake Forest who is age 26, who is 6'4", who's 215 pounds, and who's in his fifth year as a pro. Uh, it has his uh, 64 stats, it has his lifetime stats, and it has uh, a question for you uh, to rub your hard-earned nickel uh, and reveal both the question and the answer. So anyway, that is your 1965 Phil Philadelphia gum collection do not confuse us with fleer i did that once in public and it did not go over well uh episode number 145 of the basement tapes cheers everyone